Wildlife uh, aims to use behavioral science in order to improve the adoption of sustainable practices. Farmers tend to resort to short-term solutions. They have the challenge of climate change. They have the challenge of uh, increasing pests and diseases. And they basically uh, resort to things that they, are, uh, they, they see that other farmers are doing. So I think that the main, the main challenge, the main barrier is the current social norm. Make their life easy. Make the practice very simple to, to adopt, right? So for example, take compost. Um, it is um, a practice that is relatively easy to do, uh, but um, when we explain them and when they see the benefits that compost brings them, um, it's more likely that they will adopt it consistently. I would say that make implementation or the adoption simple and then gather evidence to show the results is part of this strategy. When um, you see your, your neighbor implementing something that is really uh, providing results and that person help us in spreading the word, the word then um, the, the whole community will be willing to adopt those practices. In Colombia, the land use and agricultural sector accounts for almost 40% of greenhouse gas emissions. And agriculture is like 26% of that uh, proportion. So um, bringing sustainable agriculture to smallholder farmers, which are like 87% of the farmers in Colombia, is important in terms of climate change. I think that there is something wrong about our food systems. I grew in my grandparents, in grand, my grandfather's farm, and um, I remember that potato, carrots, peas, blackberries, milk and cheese came from there. And I relate very much to food as home, as family. And there is something wrong about the current food systems. Food is making us sick. And in spite of abundance, there is many people who still dying because of hunger, right? So uh, I want to be part of the solution. I want to fix the, what's wrong with our food systems. And I think that smallholder farmers are a big piece of that puzzle. I think that with the right support and uh, with the right um, information and incentives, uh, smallholder farmers can really um, support our efforts towards climate change while also improving their livelihoods. And this is why I do what I do.